episode 51, I looked at a Rails API authentication with the JSON web tokens, but in this episode, I want to take a different approach to it with a Rails API only application. So we're not going to use the action view at all. Instead, we're just going to be using the Rails application backend to serve the JSON content to a client side front end. And we're not going to get into a front end framework in this episode. However, we are laying the back end groundworks in order to be able to tap in a mobile application or a JavaScript front end framework into our Rails application. And in this episode, we are going to be using the JWT gem, and this is to encode and decode our payload. And if you haven't already seen episode 51, I recommend just going back and refreshing on it because it's going to explain a lot about what a JSON web token is and what it's used for. All right, so to get started, I'll create a new Rails application with Rails new, and I'm just going to call this application template. And then to make it an API only, I'll pass in the dash dash API. This will go through and create our initial framework. But all right, so once we're in the directory of our application, we need to create a new Rails model. And this model is going to be our users. And we're just going to take in a name, a email, and then we're also going to set a password digest. And to store our password, it is going to be hashed and it's going to be secured with bcrypt. So we are going to be using the built-in Rails functionality with a has secure password. And then we'll run Rails DB Migrate. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.